Hey, what's going on? We're back with another team guide here. And this time it's going to be Hurricane Dory with Jean, Candace, and Nahito. We're going to build a Hyper Bloom team. Now, what we have on the docket for today, we are going to go through the build for each character and how they work together as a whole. We're going to fight some bosses in the world, and then we're going to stop by the Spiral Abyss, and then I will give you my final thoughts on this team as a whole. Now, as we go to view these characters, one thing to keep in mind is that they're not all leveled to perfection, especially for all the elemental reactions that are going to happen. Now, they are high enough level for us to get a good picture of how the team would work. For Nahida, we have Sacrificial Fragments and Four Piece Deep Wood Set. For Candace, we have The Catch and Four Piece Emblem. For Jean, we have the Sacrificial Sword and Four Piece Virtus and Venor. And for Dory, we have a Sacrificial Great Sword and Two Piece Thundering Fury. Now, Candace and Dory are the characters that do need built into Energy Recharge a bit more than the others. As you can see, Candace has 240% and Dory has 150%. So it's more important that Candace has her ult up at all times for that constant Hydra application, since it allows her, Jean, or Dory all to apply Hydra while Nahida sticks with the Dendro. So without further ado, Let's test it out on some world bosses. Our main concern with the Pyro Regisvine is breaking its shield, since Candace can't apply that much Hydro to it. So we're kind of left with everybody else to try to help out. You see, Dory can do an okay job, but you're basically just switching back and forth, back and forth, hoping not to die, hoping not to get hit, until it finally falls which is taking quite a bit. There we go. So now we can alt with a couple of our characters here to get all of this up. And Jean's energy is not up, which is an inherent flaw with this. But you can see we are doing some hyper bloom damage here. And that's, that's, that's pretty good for what we wanted to do. We took over half its health in one rotation. So now, it's about time for us to keep rotating through and hopefully we'll have jeans. Yeah, we got Jean for this rotation here. I can't really see how far. Oh, we're done. Okay. All right. It's time for ults again. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not Nahida's ult this time. And there we go. We beat it pretty quickly. That was some sloppy rotations on my part, not going in with all the energy, everything like that. But it uh, it worked pretty well. So we are back over here with our good friend Masanori. And yes, we shall spar. With Candice, we can set the rotation with our E, then Nahida, then back to Candice. And then here we go. Oh, switch to Dory. All right, so now, Oh, there's a quest starting. So as you can see, we are pretty solid on our elemental application here. We're not doing too, too much damage to him at the moment. Where's my recharge on that? There. Oh, I didn't trigger them. Triggering me, not triggering them. All right, so we'll be creating some orbs here with Dory. All right, so now it's time for our full rotation again here. I don't know if uh, Dory has iframes. That actually would be really important to know. So we have 54 seconds left. So I'm kind of out of the range here, which is not very good. Woo, no, no, no. Okay. I have no, uh, no electro on that. Okay. Ooh, no, no, no. Uh, I don't have either of my healing alts up, which is incredibly unfortunate. Just dodge, duck and weave. Duck and weave. Here we go. All 
All right, so that should give you an idea of how well the team works together. My rotations were not optimal again. You saw the synergy, but at this level, they're not able to take out Masanori. So that concludes our in-world testing. Now we'll push through uh, one level of the Spiral Abyss. Let's do floor five. So we have our teams lined up for the first and second half here. For the first half, we'll be running our Hurricane Dory team. We'll start in right on that. And I'll cut out the parts with the second half of each floor, since that doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll take some more attack. Why the heck not? All right. You ready for this? I am 100% not ready for this. All right, so we'll start off with Nahida's. Uh, oh, getting hurt, you know. Why not just start the Hyper Bloom right now? So get some more application. Get some swirling on this. All right, let's take care of the uh, Electro dudes in the back here. They're just trying to hide out and be wimps, you know. That was a bad play wasting that, but it's fine. All right, let's get her burst out. Jean's burst. Oh! That was absolute stun lock territory right there. All right, now everybody's dead over here. There we go. And there we go. All right, we are on chamber two now. We'll take the uh, we'll take the crit. Why not? Ah, it's not going to help us at all, but it gives you a better picture of what this team can do. So we're going to open up the same way as last time. Except we do not have her burst up. Oh, he was already dead. Woo! We get some freezes in, that's good. Uh, actually takes away from our bloom, doesn't it? We can't bloom on that, can we? No, we don't bloom at all. That's actually a really good uh, case study for this team. This is on this, even though everybody's grouping in. Wow, that went faster. Even though everybody was grouping in on me, so I was able to do more Dendro Hydro Electro application. Since the cryo was there, I couldn't bloom. So that shows you about how well the team can do in less than optimal circumstances as well. I, my rotations were pretty good there, I, I, I should say. Chamber three, what are we gonna pick? Physical damage, lower stamina consumption on charge attack, or HP, let's just take HP. I don't even, I probably didn't even need it. I'm not doing charge attacks, am I? No. All right, it is important that we take out the Sisson Mage first. Oop. Let's get her burst up. And let's get some more bloom on the field. There we go. Wow. Holy moly, that cleared fast. So how does this team comp rank? I forgot to put in the Sunfire Gene one. Sunfire Gene is absolutely S tier. It is S tier with any character that you rotate through it that you have leveled. It is amazing. This team compared to that one, it's a bit of a letdown. I'd say even if, you know, you take my characters, you fully build them up, I'd say it's a solid C tier. If you get Dory, it's it's a fair start. Dory with Gene, Candice, Nahida, it's not necessarily a free to play team. However, if you want to get into team building and you have these characters, I would absolutely advise you to, uh, to try this out. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you can drop a like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that even more. Leave a comment with uh, what team you think would work better for Dory. Maybe a, uh, a, a perma-free shatter comp or, uh, or something like that. I don't, I don't know. And if you feel like an absolute champ, drop me a follow on Twitch. Currently, I'm streaming Saturday through Tuesday nights from around 7 to 10 EST. So you can come over and uh, watch me build these teams live if you want, you know? Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.